it's about uh, ensuring that people know your message. Trying to have a bit of fun with your campaign, try to make sure that you are appealing and catching the eye of the voter. I want you to say, oh, there's Sheila O'Leary. I can call her if I got a problem. The key thing is your last name. When people start thinking about, in a general conversation, who they're going to vote for, normally it's the last name that comes up. Making sure your name is bold and big because, of course, you want it to correspond with the name on the ballot. So you want to make sure the last name is really well established on the sign. Less is more, no doubt. Remember, people are driving by in cars, they're walking by, and I think it's really important to have beautiful colours. Of course, when we talk about partisan politics, we're talking about, you know, brands. There are existing colour schemes, but you can be creative about design, and uh, I've had a lot of fun with them, certainly, over the years. You want to make it pretty simple. You don't want a big storyboard that people got to read because that's not what this is about. Sometimes you put the graphics, sometimes it's a catch phrase or catch graphic. It could be your picture. It could be the way that the lettering is done. So you try to look at what uh, catches people's eyes. These are the ones, in my opinion, that matter. The ones that you nail into the into the lawns of people who are supporters and you know that when you go around the neighborhoods and you see those, you know that that's a vote, that's a vote, that's a vote. You want to maximize your intersections where there's a bigger flow of traffic. You know, for example, right here, this takes in anywhere from 70 to 80 percent of my traffic volume. You also want to make sure that you have some momentum. So building your signs around the community is also part of that strategy. If you're an incumbent, like myself, you want to go on your own record. So what you want to stand out is who you are. I want them to know that, you know, I've represented them for the last 10 years and I want to continue to do that. I want them to know that I am available. I am here, I'm present, and you know what, you can reach out to me. I'm here to work for them. I want them to remember the name because once you are elected, you also want them to know who to turn to as their MHA. So that's what I'm trying to achieve is letting people know, first of all, that my name is on the ballot, second of all, that I'm here to work for them. Yeah.